Oh, 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 he has an automatic. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, he's fucking me up. They're fucking me up. They're fucking me up. Ah. Oh, Alrighty, so I think I ought to start getting some new stuff on. Alright, so we have our, our first quest. <coughs> we are on our way to the Super Duper Mart. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast travel. But, uh, oh. Oh, those look like enemies. Oh. Looks like they're already fighting something. While he's doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh steal a bunch of stuff and then also ambush them come on die die yeah oh ow, ow. got them both let's go what do you have 10 mil pistol a pack of cigarettes i'll take it what do you have i know what you had you had shotgun shells and a combat shotgun. Let's go. Alright. It ain't in the greatest of condition, but you know what? It's a weapon. And honestly, I can't complain about that. Are you sure? Because I kind of just fucked you up from what it looks like. Ow, ow. What are all these guys doing here? Usually it's all empty. Ow, oh, 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 he has an automatic. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, he's fucking me up. They're fucking me up. They're fucking me up. Ah. Oh. Let's play this right. They don't see us. They don't see us at all. And then fuck him up. There we go. And now they're all going to come to me. which I can use to my advantage because now they're all going to funnel to me. Right? No. There we go. Okay. Who's next? There we go. And then there's the guy with the assault rifle. There he is, okay. I need him to come out to me. Got him. Now I'll push him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ow, ow. I need to kill you for your gun. Now give me your goddamn gun. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa. 
well, first off. Oh, damn. Um. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now I can deal with that guy. But also. Okay. Alright. Let's go! What? Where'd he go? Fuck you, dude. Piece of shit. Alright. That's a mini nuke. Pretty much take all of that. Ooh, I see quite a few bottles of quantum. I am probably going to start collecting Nuka Cola, like I always do whenever I play a Fallout game, so. Any Nuka Cola I see, it is mine. Mine! So is that Psycho, because that's good money. Am I just in the wrong spot? Shit, you're crazy! You're cra I'm crazy! You're a raider! Okay, now where is this fucking fridge that has food in it? Apparently! Where'd he go? That's what you fucking get. That's what you fucking get, people. Ah, oh, there's the area I'm thinking of, probably. Yep, there it is. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I do not want to admit how- I do not want to tell you how long it took me to find this place. Alright, well, now that I have gotten the, uh, food and medicine that I need, back to Moira. Hello, Moira. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food and medicine from that super duper mart? Wasn't easy, but I got it, yeah. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Well, it was really hard to talk my way past that many people shooting at me, I'm not going to lie, but uh, through perseverance and uh, determination and a lot of 10 mil and 556, I managed to persevere. Oh, dear. Well, I guess the dangers around those old supplies keeps it from being smooth sailing. Otherwise, they'd have already been looted, huh? Well, keep you know, that's a good got. point. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. The taste kind of grates after a while. Oh, uh, and take, uh, take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, um... Better. All right, let's continue with the uh, research then. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? You know, neither of them, honestly. But uh, if I have to pick between the two, I guess I'll uh, go uh, hear about some landmines. 
Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. Okay. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Oh, okay. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? You know, I really hope you pay me enough for this job. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. All right. <clears throat> Take care. It's a big wasteland, but you know that better than me, right? All right. But before I do that, I need to do some trading. All right. I got everything I need. Got a new bag so we can do a little bit more further travels. We are on our way to Minefield. Oh, you know what? I can also wear this, too. Because why not, you know? I'm the Union Man! Springvale Elementary, huh? Ah, I see. Minefield. Okay. There's a man up there. Oh, I think I'm taking shots. Ow. They're daisy chaining. Ow! God damn it. Oh, I think I hit him. Not doing this again. There. Ow. Got him. Ow. God damn it. This really fucking hurts, you know. Oh my god. Taking your fucking food. I mean, you aren't gonna need it anyway. Who the hell are you? Arkansas? Ridgefield Gate Key and the sniper rifle. Thanks for reimbursing some of the ammo, asshole. Well, let's see what you got. A good old snipper rifle. That I can't aim worth a shit with, but we're gonna hold on to it anyway. One more try. 
Alright, I just can't use weapons like this to save my life. And that's why God gave me weapons like this. And this. Anyways. Uh, well, I guess now that we have the mine, and, uh, there's nothing else we really need to do over here, off to, uh, Megaton. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, they fucking hurt. They fucking hurt, Moira. I even brought you one. My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Uh, you just honestly got to be quick about it. Uh, the other thing that kind of didn't make it any easier is the fact that there was a fucking sniper shooting at me the whole time. Not quite as much of a ghost town as they say, is it? Good work staying calm and collected under pressure. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. All right, we got to do the radiation research, right? Yes, that's what I need your help on. I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. All right, just, um, well, I mean, do you have the ability to fix me up? I, I would assume you do if you're going to give me this quest, so, uh, all right. Oh, you're a peach, or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness, but if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Oh, boy. Oh. This doesn't look good. All right, then, who's next? Oh. Ah. Dropped him like a sack of fucking potatoes. Same thing goes for you, too. No, oh, get back here. Come here. Bitch. You let me aim, that was your issue.
Didn't work out for you very well. Oh my heavens! Could this be my salvation? A light in the darkness that I could not have foreseen. A solution to my plight that I did not expect. Oh, pardon me. I see you're not as cultured as I am. That confused look on your face betrays it. What I mean to ask is, are you here to rescue me? Uh, shh, keep your voice down. Who the hell are you? Me? Why, I am a very important, very rich individual hailing from Tenpenny Tower, south of here. I'd shake hands, but, well, that rather badly. Pleasure, really. I don't suppose you're here to unbind my hands and act as my hero, my knight in shining armor, my savior in the bleak, bleak land? How did they end up capturing you? Oh, it's actually a bit of a funny story, really. <laughs> I was out beyond the walls of Denpenny Tower, much to the disdain of my friends there, when I was assailed by the residents of this institute. Well, more like I sought them out. I brought with me the knowledge of the finer arts and a few articles of clothing. I tried to educate these ruffians and give them a chance to turn their sights on the greater, more extravagant things. But now, look at me. They burned my clothes, scattered my tools, and now they sent word for ransom. Of which I am certain will not be met. Could you please free me? I don't wish to die in this disgusting place, nor am I chipped to bargain with. All right. The joys of being free at last. I've been here for what seems like ages. Thank you, my friend. I can assure you, I always do unto others what is done to me. If you ever find yourself near Tenpenny Tower, do stop in. You'll find that I may have something to give you next we meet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must extract myself from this sticky situation. Man, I'm from a vault, so, like, I'm not exactly stupid, but damn, you talk weird. Anything else? Oh. Oh. I will take that. Thank you, sir. Hey, is that more raiders? Hey, you done with that cigarette? Let me bomb it off. Not so fast. Thanks. Jesus Christ. Bossman could have given a bitch a warning about all this patrol. I wasn't expecting to be outside the school today. How the hell did I get here? I was supposed to cozy up with Eddie today. Dogs for the dogs. Please, you weren't even interested in Eddie anyway. Hello, I'm Where dogs. I'm I'm dogs. What's that noise? Oh That's a waste of ammo. There we go. No better way to get irradiated than the water. Yeah, here we go. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather. Or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't feel really good. Uh, yeah, things don't look too good for me. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not a ghoul. But uh, I do feel like shit. Um, yeah. I can tell. You're positively glowing. Oh, we're both now, making just jokes hold now. hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Um, yeah, I, I feel just fine. Never better. Oh, you poor dear. Putting on a brave face like that. Well... Don't worry, it'll all be better. And 
It's for a good cause. Yeah, okay. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, that's a word for it. Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few ha Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Awesome. So that finishes up the first chapter then, right? It most certainly does. And if I keep writing in the style of some of your reports, this is going to be one mighty slick book. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. Alright, cool. Well, uh, on to chapter two then, right? The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there. For better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Um... What do you mean about handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, It'd be you. Oh, no. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. Oh. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? So you you expect me, after getting into a gunfight or something like that, after almost bleeding out, holding my intestines together, the first thought that comes to mind is, huh, I should go see Moira. Okay. Okay. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. Oh I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Okay. Well, now that I, uh... Okay, I need it. A... God, I need a drink. <laughs> 